this May, in a new way, let us experience Mary as our mother. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. And as many of you know, like the month of May in a particular way is uh, dedicated to honor with kind of a renewed vigor, um, Mary, the mother of God, and our mother too, right? And there's a lot of really beautiful ways that we can do this. So I'll go through some of the classics, but also at the end, I'm just going to share kind of like where my heart is with it and offer kind of a bit of a new or, or kind of a fresh uh, approach to how we can really honor Our Lady during this month uh, dedicated to her honor, right? So the classic ways, the classic ways in which we might kind of be renewed and step up our game, if you will, in loving Mary and showing our love for her. First of all, like a classic is the rosary, right? Like a renewed dedication, devotion um, to the rosary, either kind of picking it up and praying it if you're not doing it, if you are doing it, increasing our our time with the rosary or if we're doing it like just maybe even just going deeper with it not adding like like more rosaries if you will but just really kind of going deeper in it i think a lot of people uh enjoy praying marrying litanies there's like the litany of loretta which is a really classic popular marrying litany in a way for us to to honor her but also to kind of with the different titles of mary to learn more and more about her i think one of my kind of a couple of my personal favorites are definitely kind of dedicating some more time to, to praying with the Gospels, uh, where Mary is, I'm thinking of like uh, the Annunciation, uh, the Visitation, praying with her Magnificat, um, the Wedding Feast at Cana. All these are really beautiful places to pray with um, and, and kind of get to know Our Lady and, and to go deeper into kind of our, again, our relationship with her. May crowning is awesome. Like May crowning is, is maybe my favorite thing that we do uh, during the month of May. The May crowning, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, you can do it at your home, you can do it with your family, you can do it with your roommates, you can do it like schools maybe do it, churches do it, things like that. It's where you you have um, a statue of Mary and you have it. Either it's already in a public place or maybe you put, put it in a public place, you put it in the family room, etc. And then you make like a little crown of, um, of flowers and there's like a little kind of ceremony where you put the crown of flowers on Mary crowning Our Lady, right? Sing a couple Marian hymns, maybe pray a litany, something like that. I think that's really beautiful. I think that's really beautiful. Um, and I do love the idea of keeping, particularly in May, like keeping like flowers uh, kind of at the foot of the statue. Or if you don't have like a statue, maybe just like an image of Mary. And just the practice of throughout the whole month of May, just, you know, uh, everyone kind of taking turns of like getting getting a flower, getting a couple of flowers, putting them in the vase. And, and keeping flowers there. I think it's a beautiful way to kind of keep renewed uh, this kind of devotion to Mary, keep it in front of us during the month of May. And then a last one, right? Like, like there's this tradition at the end of encyclicals, for example, or particularly in religious houses, like houses of, of consecrated people. There's a tradition of ending the night with some sort of antiphon or song to Mary. So again, either personally in prayer with your community, your family, if you're a teacher in like Catholic schools, like you can do this at the end of, of each class, just ending with some sort of like hymn to Our Lady. And if you can sing it, you can sing it. Or if, or if you can't, like if you want to listen to it, I think those are all beautiful things to do, right? But all of these practices, which are like really beautiful and deeply rooted in tradition and really, really good, I would say they kind of presuppose something. I think they presuppose that we have already experienced uh, Mary as our mother. Like these are in, in a real way, these are these are responses and, and, and actions of gratitude and devotion because we're so moved by her love for us. And my encouragement is just to think about like, have you experienced this? Have you really experienced the motherhood of Mary for you? Um, have you experienced her care for you? That Mary, like a real mother, has the most tender of loves, but also there's like the mama bear, right? There's a fierce love that she has for you. And if we created space, have we had the conversations? Have we entered into the relationship so that we've really experienced deeply um, her care for us, her love for us, her tenderness for us, but also her fierceness for us? And there's this whole th- thing like with love languages, you know, they're like gifts, quality time, physical touch, works of service, words of affirmation. And in a real way, like those first things that we talked about are all ways of us kind of like connecting on some of these to show Mary our love for her. And like, uh, I think a lot of them are, are sort of clear, but, but even something like kissing the statue or kissing the image of Mary has this sort of like this component of um, sort of like a physical touch and expression of love. But in, one of the ones that's not on the list um, that I feel is personally maybe my love language and, and something of our Lord's and our ladies as well is um, trust. 
I think one of the best ways that we can show the Lord that we love him is to trust him. And one of the best ways that we can show Mary that we love her, like a real gesture of love towards her, is to trust her. Um, And I certainly feel very loved when someone has a gesture where they trust me, where they invite me into a situation like with confidence. And one of the best ways that I can show like my love for another is being trustworthy. And I think, again, that's true of our Lord and Our Lady. And so one of the invitations to show our love for her is to trust her, is to trust her with real things in our life. And so it can be a relationship like, Mary, I'm going I'm to trust this to you. It can be a financial situation. Mary, I'm going to trust this to you. It can be a vocation question. Mary, I'm going to trust this to you. It can be a health question. Like, Mary, I'm going to trust this to you. And, and to really do it and to not just say the words, but really like with confidence, like, Mary, I trust this to you. I, I, I trust you with this. And I think a beautiful prayer and one of Mother Teresa's favorite prayers, right, is Mary be a mother to me now. So Mary be a mother to me in this, in this situation of health. M- Mary be a mother to me in my question of vocation. Mary, be a mother to me or be a mother to my kids or be a mother to this person or to that person. Um, To really just like trust something to her, create space, really give something to her. Um, Asking her to be a mother in that situation and just giving the space for her to show herself in your life to truly be uh, the best of mothers. And, um, and so I'd really encourage, I'd really encourage this. And right, there's these beautiful words that Our Lady of Guadalupe speaks to Saint Juan Diego. She says to him like, Am I not here who are your mother? Like, trust me. Like, what are you worried about? Just trust me. And, and let her, let's like, let her speak uh, these words to you again. Like, what are you worried about? What are you concerned about? Am I not here who am your mother? And let's really um, trust her with stuff in our life so that she can really reveal herself to be trustworthy, that she is the best, the, the, the most tender, and again, the, the most strong and fierce of, of protectors and, and, and carers for us. And I think um, including this and founding this month of May in this growing in trust and growing in, in this kind of area with, with Mary, I think is really, really going to bear a lot of fruit in your life as we go forward. So um, that's kind of my invitation. That's what I'm feeling called to. Again, uh, a deepening renewal in this area of my life as well. Hopefully it's fruitful for you. And we just, it's just such a gift. <laughs> she's such a gift to us. Like she's just such a gift to us. And let's, um, as I like to say, like, let's celebrate the month of, of May well. Like, let's do the work of receiving the gift of the motherhood of God this month. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. God bless y'all.